And hello everyone, welcome back to another drawing video. Today I'm drawing with a roaching ice graph, the .35. What I really like about this pen is how we get cross hatching and just perfect dark lines that really go on the paper just perfectly. I do have a roaching .18, but that pen doesn't seem to work very well. No matter what paper I use, no matter how many times I take it apart and clean it, every little intricate tiny detail of the pen, I take apart I clean it, I let it set in water overnight to clean, I use uh, the Rotring pen cleaner for it, and still it doesn't get clean. So I don't know what else to do with that pen. Um, I might try and get a different one, but if I get another one that is around the same size and doesn't work, I'm just shipping it back and I'm never going to use that size again. Maybe it's the nib size, I'm not sure, but um, the .35 works perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with it. Um, I can draw a lot faster with this one. I can get pretty good detail even though it's a larger pen size. But in other news, I did get a new audio interface today. And the sound quality is amazing. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. I love how it sounds. It sounds a lot better than my last microphone I had. The last microphone I had was a newer 700. And it was cheap. It was only like $18. So, yeah. I guess you get what you pay for it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, things are going pretty good. Working on a lot of drawings. I'm trying to fill out this entire sketchbook here. It's the Moleskin sketchbook. I'm wanting to fill the entire sketchbook out with uh, isograph drawings. I had a friend that bought a print of one of my drawings on society6.com. She had it printed out and put onto like a little carry bag. I thought it was pretty cool to see one of my drawings on, you know, something that someone else is using. And it kind of helps motivate me to keep drawing. I like seeing my artwork out there and seeing people that find it interesting. And I've had some emails from people saying that my drawings and my videos help relax them, helps them get through the day. But if there's anybody out there that ever has anything that's on your mind or anything that's bothering you, you can always talk to me, email me. Um, I've got all the links in my video description and on the About Me section of my YouTube channel. So you can just email me anytime about anything. And So I'll always be here if you need somebody to talk to. And I have a couple people that have sent me some requests about some drawings that they want me to do. You know, little commissions here and there. And... It's all kind of added up to a lot of work, and I've got a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm trying my best to keep up with it and to keep making these videos and keep drawing and putting my work out there. So if there's a drawing you'd like me to do or a commission work, just let me know. Send me an email. And in other news, I've uh, really gotten into this isograph drawing, working on uh, practicing the cross-hashing and stippling with it trying to add a bit of realistic element to my drawing and you know, adding some of the experience I have from drawing portraits and putting that into my abstract work. I was replied to in a comment by Dan Beardshaw. He's another artist. He does mostly realism drawing and his one video he had was about planning drawings and I commented on the video and I had said about how whenever I'm drawing abstract or even when I'm doing portrait drawing if I plan it out too much, I have a hard time drawing it because I feel like I'm restricted in my creativity and the process of doing the drawing. I feel like I'm kind of just boxed in. And when I'm doing the abstract artwork, I don't really feel like I'm boxed in with what I'm doing. I can just freely make whatever I want, how I want. And I don't have to worry about the whole planning process as much. It's more, it's more free. It's more freeing than doing realism. Although I do realism as well. I just find abstract drawing to be um, more enjoyable to me in the long run. And I don't have to be so stressed about trying to make every single detail perfect. I can just go at my own pace and uh, pretty much make whatever I want. I like making something that hasn't already existed in the world. My drawings, they're an expression of what I went through in life. I'll go into more detail about that in another video. But for now, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.